You want to support Roller Martin Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. By going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com, you can make this possible. One of the issues where Republicans have at least been decent on is the support of HBCUs. Tomorrow, there's a huge vote that's coming up in Congress, in the House, that's dealing with, uh, it's called the uh, uh, Education Act or uh, Future, sponsored, actually, let me read the whole thing here. It's actually Fostering Undergraduate Talent by Unlock Unlocking Resources for Education Act, called the Future Act, sponsored by Congresswoman Alma Adams. And so I'm going to talk with her right now about this. Now, Congresswoman, Congresswoman Adams, welcome back to Roller Martin Unfiltered. Thank you, Roland. I, I'm enjoying your show. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, here's a piece here. Um, because of how this bill is going to come forward, tomorrow it doesn't require a majority vote because Democrats have those votes. Uh, when I talked this morning to Michael Lomax of the UNCF on the Tom Jonah Morning Show, he said it requires a two-thirds vote, which means the need for Republican support for this bill uh, that would that would have eight, what, about 85 million going to HBCUs? Right. Well, actually, this this particular bill uh, will 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 maintain the 255 million a year for two years. Uh, for HBCUs and all minority-serving institutions. Uh, this money is, is, uh, will, will be available to uh, support the, the needs that students have, funding uh, a STEM uh, curriculum as well. Uh, so it, it's going to go away on September 30th if we don't get uh, the Future Act uh, passed. And as you said, it is fostering undergraduate talent by unlocking resources for education. And when you think about our HBCUs, and, I, you know, I taught 40 years on HBCU campus, Bennett College. I, I am a two-time graduate of North Carolina A&T, uh, and I know the needs that our students have. Uh, many of them, almost all of them, are first generation. And so this is a number one priority for uh, all uh, MSIs in the country. So. Uh, we can do this, uh, and we do have, it is bipartisan. So hopefully uh, we will be able to, to get it through uh, tomorrow. I'll be debating this bill at 5 o'clock. This bill will be up uh, on the floor. So I'll be coming back uh, from North Carolina in the morning. Uh, you talk about it being bipartisan. You heard me make that point because the co-chair of the HPCU caucus is a white Republican from North Carolina whose wife uh, went to Winston-Salem State, correct? Mm -hmm. Well, let me... First, the, the co-chair is uh, Bradley Byrne, who is a white Republican from Alabama. Uh, my co-chair on the bipartisan HBCU uh, internship is um, Mark Walker from North Carolina, but he's also a member of the of the caucus. So, yeah, we, we all work together to try to make right. sure that these students get what they need. And in fact, I think the two of you were on my TV One show, and isn't he the one whose wife went to Winston-Salem State? Mm -hmm. That, you are exactly right. And so, yeah, and, uh, and, and, and the reason I'm saying that is because this is what I'm talking about when, when I'm trying to unpack this thing when you, have to, when you have to have Republican support. One of the things, Congresswoman Adams, that I try to explain to people, like, for instance, CBCF was this weekend. And the reality is, not every black person is represented by a CBC member. There are African Americans that, who are living in that. districts that Republicans. They are either the member, of, they're either in the House or you have Republican senators. And so we, as African Americans, have to say we are constituents, and they need this. We just need to hear from us. Our phone calls, our emails, our letters. If you steal fax or whatever, because we are still constituents. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. But you know, Roland, also because of all of the redistricting and the gerrymandering that's gone on, uh, uh, many of our HBCUs are in Republican districts. So we all have, uh, should have uh, uh, an interest uh, in making sure that these schools uh, not only survive, but that they thrive. Uh, we we uh, contribute $15 billion a year to the economy. So HBCUs, we're not slouching. 47% uh, of our uh, engineers come from um, historically black colleges and universities. Uh, more than 50% of, of students that get undergraduate degrees that look like me and you, HBCU grads. So 
you know, we need to make sure that our schools have what they need. And we've got to bring some parity to this process because it has not been. Uh, where do you want people to call? The vote's tomorrow. You've got to get two-thirds votes. What, where should they be calling tomorrow to tell the mem their member of the House, vote for this bill? All right. Well, they should be calling uh, all of the Republican members. Uh, I think that that will be, be helpful, particularly those uh, on the uh, Education Committee, on the Higher Education Committee as well. But if, if they're Republicans in your state, uh, you need to get after them. Give them a call. Uh, and this is the right thing to do. They need to support this bill uh, because by doing that, they're supporting these uh, hundreds of thousands of students. The bill is it, it's already paid for, so it's not going to uh, really cost cost anything. It's even supported uh, by the White House. I mean, at least we 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 uh, we, we've heard that, and uh, I want we, we're going to see. We don't want folks just talking the talk. They need to walk the walk, and it's not. Uh, what you say, but it's what you do. All right, Congresswoman Alma Adams, folks listening, call this. This is the number. Call 202 224 3121. 202 224 3121. That's the main number to the U.S. Capitol switchboard. Before you do that, I want you to also go online. You can put in your zip code, uh, and then you, they will tell you exactly who is your okay. member of. Congress. So when you call and say, hi, I'm so-and-so, I am one of your constituents, I want you to vote, I want my member to vote for the Future Act, that's what I need all of y'all to do, okay? And share it on social media as well. The number is 202-224-3121. Congresswoman Alma Adams, we appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much, Roland. You keep up the good work. Will Thank do. You. Thank you very much. All right, folks, back to that whole Mark Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, you heard me talk a lot about MarijuanaStock.org. Why? Because I want to keep you informed of investment opportunities that make sense. We've all watched the growth of the cannabis industry, folks. A re recent report by the New Frontier Data estimates the global cannabis market more than $340 billion. And we know that marijuana legalization is sweeping the country state by state. We also know that marijuana has a good cousin, the hemp plant, with a much higher concentration of CBD. That means hemp gives you all the medical benefits of marijuana without getting you high. Until recently, hemp farming was practically illegal in the U.S. and heavily regulated by the DEA. However, that all changed with the 2018 Farm Bill, making it legal to grow hemp CBD in the U.S., creating one of the largest commodities worldwide. They need land to grow all the plants. Folks, this is real simple, okay? And the folks at 420 Real Estate have a business model where they buy land that supports hemp CBD grow operations and lease it to licensed high-paying tenants. That's right. There are hemp CBD landlords. You can get in on the action now. now. Of course, our folks at 420 Real Estate decided to do something special for the Roland Martin Unfiltered family. Originally, the minimum investment level was $500. Bucks, and now you can get in this crowdfunding campaign for as little as $200, up to $10,000. Okay? This is a growth industry that is still growing. If you want to invest, go to MarijuanaStock.org. That's MarijuanaStock.org. Get in the game and get in the game now. Now back to your Roland Martin Unfiltered video.